So before I get started, I just want to apologize for this video not being in HD because I'm having some technical difficulties with my HD camera right now and I have to film this on my phone. With that being said, this is my fourth review video. This is a review of Taylor Swift's new single, Blank Space. My last three review videos weren't very pleasing to a lot of people because I didn't really care for the songs all that much. And actually, my last review was of Taylor Swift's Shake It Off. I love the message in Shake It Off, but I just didn't think it was a good first single for her. And I, I kind of, well, you can watch that video if you want to. Um, but this song, Blank Space, I, I absolutely adore. I really do. I love it. It's amazing, in my opinion. It is so relatable to my love life that it's sick. But... I'm like addicted to the song because of that. Like because one thing that me and Taylor have always had in common is that we fall for the bad boy type. That is just our type, unfortunately. And for her to just accept it all in this song, um, it's just like amazing to me. Like, I mean, it's, it's a little sad because it's it's kind of like, like if you think about it, it's kind of saying how you know she's kind of just given up on on trusting in love. It, she's, I mean, the lyrics are, uh, it's going to be forever or it's going to go down in flames, you know. But at the same time, she's, she justified in the song that it's mainly because we're young and we're reckless. And that makes a lot of sense to me because when you're young, you make a lot of mistakes. You fall for some stupid shit. Some of it you fall for over and over again, and some of it you, you know, take yourself out of the situation. But I think it's a great song. It's, like I said, totally relatable to my love life. It's basically like I wrote it. <laughs> That's how much I can relate to the song. But I believe that this should have been her first single, not her second single. If this had been her first single, I would have pre-ordered the album. But with Shake It Off being her first single, I was like, nah, no thanks. I mean, like I said earlier, I love the message of Shake It Off. But this song got a catchy beat, got amazing lyrics. It's totally relatable to many young girls out there, including myself. And it's just, it's catchy, and it's, it's cool. I like it. It's pretty much everything that I've ever loved about Taylor, minus the country music genre. But with this song, she's actually made a very decent crossover to pop. Anyway, um, let, feel free to let me know what your opinions are on the song in the comments below. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you agree with me. Give it a thumbs down if you disagree. I really don't care. <laughs> um, but either way, thank you for watching, and I really do appreciate that aspect. And let me know if you're gonna, going to um, buy Taylor's new album, 1989. I'm thinking about it with this new song. I really am. I might have to hear one other single before I buy it because I don't want to waste my money. Like, this might be the only song on the whole album that I really like, which is highly doubtful because it's Taylor Swift. But this being a, her first pop album, very that actually might happen. I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you think. And once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time, hopefully in HD. All right, guys. Bye. I don't know what that was. Sorry about that. You can just click off the video now. Alright, fine. I'll click it off.